Hi, my name is Christina Seston. Welcome to The Truth About Hypertension. Hypertension is a very dangerous disease with fatal consequences. This show contains important information for those people with hypertension and those who are concerned about hypertension. My guest today on the show is Dr. Young Soo Kim. Dr. Kim has been a regular guest on this series of shows with me. Dr. Kim is from MIT, and he operates one of the most successful biomedical companies in North America. Welcome, Dr. Kim. Thank you. So I understand, Dr. Kim, that the last show we did together, The Truth About Diabetes, has been an incredible success. So congratulations <laughs> Thanks again. Thanks to you. I think it was quite timely. The diabetes uh, was becoming a global epidemic, mm. and it was quite timely that we did that uh, educational program. Absolutely. Yeah, I understand there, it, it's been broadcast in China, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, a few times over the national TV network, and translated into a few countries' languages. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's great. Congratulations. Mm. Thank you. And so today, Dr. Kim, you're back to talk about another very serious disease. Hypertension. Hypertension. Uh, high blood pressure. Yeah. So mm. can you tell us just a little bit about the dangers of hypertension? It's more prevalent than diabetes. Mm, so just, more common. Yeah, just in the States, uh, 50 million people have it. But 30% uh, of them are undiagnosed. So it's, it's quite prevalent and dangerous disease. Right, and so that's quite a high number, 30% undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Why are they undiagnosed? Because uh, it doesn't have a symptom unless uh, it becomes really, really serious. Yeah, people say some stiff neck and a certain pattern of headache, mm. but other than that, uh, there are no symptoms. So there's not much to go on. Yeah, and then uh, the blood pressure changes hour to hour, and it changes depending on mood. Right. So, so it's uh, hard to get a reading. It's hard to get a fix. That's correct. And so there are uh, so many undiagnosed people. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, Dr. Kim, why is hypertension or high blood pressure, why mm. is it so bad? Because... Uh, when there is a high blood pressure in blood vessel, mm. the blood vessel itself becomes thicker and stiff. So blood vessel itself, the pipe loses elasticity. Mm, right. And then uh, it's a matter of time that uh, rupture right. happens here and there. Right. Also, uh, the hardening of uh, artery, uh, arterial sclerosis. Mm -hmm. And then when, once this happens, uh, bad cholesterol and fats uh, get accumulated in the right. pipe. Right, so there's so less, it's more constricted, less flow. That's correct. Right. And then the, uh, therefore, uh, sometimes it blocks the supply of oxygen to key organs like uh, heart. The heart, yeah. yeah. And then once there is an uh, insufficient uh, supply of oxygen, the muscles of heart uh, grows, uh, you know, thicker. Right. And, and the, it gets damaged permanently. Right. Then it's a matter of time that uh, a person has a, a heart, heart attack. attack. Yeah. Right. It's very serious. And stroke. Right. Stroke is, import, is, is an important yeah. concern so, as well. Uh, basically, heart failure is the number one uh, cause of death in, the, in America. Right. Yes. And stroke is number three. Right. And it is known that 13% of all deaths globally uh, happens due to hypertension. 13% of all? deaths globally, globally are somehow connected with hypertension. Yeah, directly connected. Directly connected. Yeah. So right. it's the number one killer. Right. And then other diseases such as kidney failure, 25% of all kidney failure comes from hypertension. So that's extremely high. But this is number one killer. Yeah. So Dr. Kim, traditional treatments, how do we normally approach something like hypertension? Oh, basically, uh, once you are diagnosed, doctors tell you that you have to be on this prescription drug for the rest of your life. Wow. Yeah. And then there are a few uh, varieties of this uh, prescription drug. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, for example, uh, diuretics, which is basically stimulation of urination. Right. So uh, the liquid of the body uh, just, uh, is lessened. Right. Yeah. And then uh, what we have uh, beta blockers. Mm -hmm. Heard of beta and, blockers. Yeah. And then uh, we have uh, uh, vis visodilators. Vasodilators. Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, let's not worry about this okay. technical terms. Right. Yeah. But the uh, there are a few varieties of this. Uh, so these are classes of pharmaceutical drugs. Yeah. It comes uh, under uh, different brand names. Right. Yes, right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, so. Uh, they usually recommend uh, those uh, pharmaceutical drugs, mm. and uh, they usually recommend uh, low-sodium diets. Right, right. So you said that uh, you're you're on these drugs forever. That's what they recommend. That must be extremely frustrating to hear That's as correct. a patient who's diagnosed with hypertension. That's 
Uh, now, what about increasing the dosages? Is that it something happens. that happens, happens over time? Yeah. They, incre uh, they usually increase the dosage and in variety. So at first, uh, patients have one drug only, mm. and then uh, two drugs, three drugs. Mm. But problem is that all these drugs are quite uh, uh, bad in, in, in side effects. Mm, right. And yeah. I, would, I would think, if you're talking about drugs for the rest of your life mm. and a combination of drugs mm. that you're now talking about, there's, there's a lot of expense so, involved with that. Uh, yeah, and then usually uh, hypertension uh, patients use other drugs too, right. so they have to buy all other drugs. But problem, uh, most serious problem with this uh, hypertensive drugs are uh, you know, their side effects are quite serious. Right. So, so mm. let's talk about that. I've got a list of side effects mm -hmm. here in front mm -hmm. of me. Mm -hmm. So uh, it sounds like there's quite a range. Mm -hmm. So starting at the sort of less serious end, what are some of the side effects yeah. so, associated? Uh, some, some less serious side effect I can mention hair growth. Hair growth. Yeah. So hair growth, uh, you know, for people like me, it may be a good news, mm -hmm. but a uh, problem with the hair growth with uh, hypertension drug is the hair growth in uh, not so desirable places, uh, arms, chest, back, uh, face. Right. So, so cosmetically, uh, cosmetically is not, not too really appealing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So right. anyhow, uh, that's one of the uh, not so serious uh, side effects of this drug. Right. But there are many uh, other More serious, serious. Uh, serious, serious side effects. Yes. Right. So I have down here uh, that you can feel weak and dizzy mm -hmm. on these drugs, mm -hmm. fainting spells, mm -hmm. poor circulation, poor circulation, yeah. gout. Gout. Uh, breathing difficulties. Yeah, for, so breathing difficulties. This is fatal. Sometimes fatal for asthma patients. It must absolutely create such a, a, a negative situation. Yeah, so you should be really careful. Once a person has an hypertension and mm -hmm. asthma together, you should be really careful. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. I also see increased risk of heart attack, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. palpitation, yes. tremors, yeah. damage to liver and kidneys. Yeah. And sexual dysfunction. Uh, sexual dysfunction due to this hypertension drug mm. is very serious. So a person has hypertension for a while, right? And diabetes, which is very common. And then if they use hypertensive drugs, mm. most of them, almost 100% of so them, 100%. have uh, sexual dysfunction. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. And so bringing something like Viagra into the mix, even worse. Even worse. Yeah. Right. So it sounds, Dr. Kim, when you list all those side effects. Mm -hmm. It makes me wonder if the benefits mm -hmm. are outweighing the side effects or oh, vice versa. Yeah, that's the consensus of this uh, medical circle. Mm -hmm. The uh, most patients stay hypertensive even with these drugs and then the long-term uh, benefit is a lot of, uh, less and fewer than this side effect. So, so, so they remain hypertensive yeah. even after they're on these prescription drugs. That's correct. And in the long run, mm -hmm. the it sounds like the side effects mm -hmm. outweigh the benefits. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, what makes uh, this situation even worse is recently uh, we found that uh, the many uh, hypertension drug uh, causes and triggers diabetes. So uh, then uh, the, these drugs actually are uh, found to be the causes of diabetes. So some of these, you're telling me some of these prescription drugs are actually causing diabetes? Yes, and then or uh, makes the diabetes treatment very difficult. Sounds like it absolutely creates chaos. Yeah, so uh, of those uh, classes of drugs we mentioned, especially diuretics mm -hmm. and beta blockers, mm -hmm. those two are uh, very, very dangerous drugs uh, for diabetes patients or uh, they cause diabetes. So they are very wow. bad. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've also heard that if you're taking other different types of medications mm -hmm. for, say, arthritis, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that taking hypertension medication can create yeah, some yeah. serious problems. Uh, hypertension drugs are, are known to have uh, many adverse interactions with the other drugs. Right. Yeah. And then it increases the toxicity of other drugs too. Right, penicillin. Yeah, yeah. penicillin and uh, such anti antibiotics. antibiotics. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so hypertension drugs, uh, doctors are not happy to prescribe. Right. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Kim, I mean, this all sounds extremely bleak for someone who's just been diagnosed with hypertension. Uh, that's correct. But today, I came here to share with you some great news. Uh, there are uh, new discoveries, especially in the area of natural treatment. There are some great discoveries. That's why I came here. Mm. I'm very happy to be here today. Good. So, Dr. Kim, why don't we take a short break, and when we come back, why don't we talk?
about some of those new natural methods that you want to talk about with us. Thanks. Yeah.